All right. Hey, everyone. This is Caitlin. And this is Lazy. And this is Women in the Trailer Industry. Today we're going to talk a little bit about NATDA. We don't have our trusty whiteboard, but what is NATDA? It is the North American Trailer Dealer Association. Nice, nice. And so that trade show is coming up mm-hmm. in August. Yep. It's the 30th through the, the 31st. 31st. Um, and the 29th is the education series. Mm-hmm, yep. So this year, um, the educational series is going to be on the 29th. They have like a dealership performance training um, for the education day on that Tuesday. And then also um, we have one of our very own Kiefer Likens is going to be doing an educational piece um, over uh, marketing on a shoestring budget. So be looking for that. Um, there's a lots of other educational yeah. things going on, but those are just the two that that I wanted to highlight. Um, yeah, and this year um, we have the Women in the Trailer Industry Committee. Yes. Super excited to announce, you know, who those people are, but waiting for the final approval on that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we'll have the roundtable there. I think it's happening in the education time, mm-hmm. um, but really a networking event, so that's going to be super exciting this Yeah, year. we'll be talking about some leadership topics, and we have a phenomenal group of ladies that are going to be on that committee, so I Absolutely. can't wait to share who all those people yeah. are. And we'll get into the committee a little bit later mm-hmm. in the episode, um, but just a few more high-level things on NATDA. Um, this year, the charity of choice is Habitat for Humanity, so they're giving back to that organization. And, you know, they're really just, they give back to those in need for mm-hmm. unsanitary conditions, mm-hmm. you know, remodeling homes, giving to those in local communities that really need a safe and sound home. Yep. And make it affordable for everybody, you know, that are getting those houses to be able to live and afford to live there instead of just a quick, you know. Yeah, a quick place. fix. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, this show is sold out. Uh, it is sold out. For exhibitors. So if you didn't get in, text Karen. Maybe she can get you <laughs> or in. Or Andrea. <laughs> um, and see what you can do. But it's going to be a really big show. I don't even think last year I got to walk around. You know, we did the yeah. podcast. But... It was very large, mm-hmm. um, and, and that can be good and bad, but I think the way this show is set up, they really like bring everybody together mm-hmm. and make it to where everybody's booth can be visited yes. um, and be able to be seen by the dealer or customer or whoever's yeah. going to be visiting. And definitely for the, for the exhibitors, um, it's definitely set up well for networking space yeah so people can talk and you know you see all these people that you work with daily um in this business um you get to see them all in one place but you also get opportunities in this space to be able to actually network see where we are the industry see what their pains are see what our pains are you know try to like just because we have the same talk, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about the same stuff and it's very unique. And they, they do, Andrea and Karen yeah. do a great job of all the team of NATDA does a great job of really making an atmosphere where it's good to network. Yes, for sure. Um, I know Corey just posted about housing being open yes. for um, exhibitors and move in schedule. Um, and that's super exciting. And the reason why is because I highly recommend staying in a hotel um, recommended by NATDA because of the networking. Absolutely. So in the past, we've done an Airbnb and it was fun and, you know, nice and all the good things. But it kind of cuts out the networking Mm -hmm. aspect. You can't just walk across the block and, you know, go to dinner with your customer or your client or your vendor Mm -hmm. um, and just have that relationships because you have to go home and you need to like, you need to freshen up a little and go do some things or you can't go downstairs and, you know, half the trade show be at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Right. And so you can't network and communicate there. So I really recommend taking um, advantage of their housing options um, and really getting connected there. Yeah. Also just the organic connections that are made, you know, maybe somebody has seen you or we see somebody, uh, a vendor or, um, some kind of connection that we want to talk to, but we didn't have time. Well, maybe possibly on that walk back to your hotel where everybody's staying at the same place. That's where you see each other or on the, the, um, what is it called? Elevator. Yeah. (laughs) Like what, Caitlin? Tell me what I'm, I'm thinking sitting here right thinking now. about a spinning globe on a hotel for some reason. Um, so, like, you're even on the elevator, you know, where you get to run into each other that morning or that afternoon, um, just organically you can make a connection. Like, hey, I didn't get to talk to you, but here's my card or whatever that is. Yeah, and and really, you know, um, 
which NATDA has always been great at, is just really helping us make connections yeah. in, um, not for maybe really the vendor customer relationship, but you know, how are you doing? How am I doing? Mm -hmm. These are the tips and tricks, which, you know, which led us to, um, do the podcast yeah. and, um, to share with others is really, you know, where can we find mentors? Where can we find resources and help? And NATDA has been a great resource for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then, um, so we will be having our booth, um, booth is 2431 and that's going to be the trailer parts outlet booth. And then we'll also have, like we've told you guys before, um, we will be set up for a full live stream podcast with full send and the, tra the women in the trailer industry. Um, and that is, where is that going to be set up at? It's in the Expo the lounge. lounge. Yeah. yeah. In the lounge. So, um, people are going to call be... it the podcast lounge. The podcast lounge. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. Um, but so we'll be kind of in two different places. We'll, we'll be most of our time, um, at the podcast booth. Um, but we will maybe have some opportunity to walk around, but if you guys don't see us, come find us. Um, you we'll, we'll be in the lounge pretty much the whole time. So if you want to be on the podcast, we've said it a million times, but we want to just keep reinforcing that we want anybody who wants to be on the podcast to be on it, to be able to have that space and that time to, to Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about what your struggles are in the industry. Tell us about uh, your your successes in the industry. I mean, we all we want to hear all of it. So yeah. um, just come by, hit us up, and tell us like, hey, I want to be on it sometime. Can you schedule me in? And we could definitely make it happen that time. Absolutely or at the show. Yeah, and you know, with the podcast, and we're gonna have a lot of great ones this year, mm -hmm. um, especially with the women in the trailer industry committee yeah. forming. I'm sure we'll harass have all some. of them to be on there. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but I'm super excited for that. You know, we get to have a round table and networking and I think a bit of education. So it's going to be exciting to see what that is. And um, now that we've named the entire committee, we are getting together to create the mission. Right. Um, you know, what are we a committee for? You know, we want to deliver to you what we are trying to accomplish. Yep. Um, and what that means for the industry and what impact that can make for the future. So I'm super excited to mm -hmm. get on that call and really defining those things so yeah. we can share with everyone. Aligning and then coming up with really um, just some industry specific um, topics that are relevant to everybody that mm -hmm. we can really give back to and, and talk on um, just, just to have a moment in time and space where we get to all be kind of on the same page and same level in that, in, in our industry of the small to medium size utility yeah. trailer, you know, like Absolutely. it's just such a niche, like type of I mean, yeah. the, the industry's wide open, but you know, we're just really specific in that. So, yeah. And you know, that just kind of leads us into the resources that are available to us through NATDA and the connections, you know, NATDA has the education. If you follow their LinkedIn, they have free education. Yes. So and it's good education and the guest bloggers and things like that. So just the resources of NATDA are great. You know, um, the education, like I was saying, and, you know, on their LinkedIn and even on their website, just the guest bloggers they have and the yeah. video series they're putting out. Those are really things, helpful things that you can get for free that you don't have to be a member of. Right. You don't have to be an exhibitor of. So if you are struggling kind of in this realm, um, definitely listen to those because it does talk about the industry struggles and, you yep. know, ways to kind of circumvent those. And how good of them to give back that kind of information that's relevant to everybody for free. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is awesome that they offer that for everybody. Yeah. So really, that's all we have for the NATDA trailers show. I do want to note that they were voted as one of the 50th one of the 50 fastest growing shows. So that's awesome. That's really cool. yep. Congratulations. But we're excited to be we at are. the show this year to podcast. We're going all out this year, um, live streaming, doing all the things. And we just really hope you'll join us. Yep. So follow us anywhere that you stream your podcast or follow us on YouTube. Don't forget to follow Juan Hernandez, Full Send. Um, he will be at the show too, doing his podcast. And we can't wait to see you guys there. Bye. Bye.